Hello, this is Richard Dawkins. I've written a memoir of my life up to the time when I wrote The Selfish Gene, and it's called An Appetite for Wonder. It begins with a brief account about some of my ancestors and the amazing things that they got up to. These are the people that I got my genes from, and whether or not I've inherited any of their qualities, I, I don't know. It moves on to, to my own parents and their early life in Africa, where I was born. Uh, my early schooling, first in Africa, and then in England, I went to rather conventional English boarding schools. Moves on to my time at Oxford, where I think I had a kind of awakening, and I, I think Oxford suited me very, very well. I spent a couple of years in Berkeley at a time of great political unrest, a, a very exciting time to be there in a way. Became an, a lecturer, research scientist, and then writing The Selfish Gene itself. I've expressed this before by saying that if the third dinosaur to the left of the tall cycad tree had not happened to sneeze at a particular moment, he would have stamped on this little furry nocturnal creature which was destined to be the ancestor of all the mammals. No mammals would be here but for that sneeze. Uh, now that, of course, is, is hypothetical, but it's certain that similar events, events as just gratuitously unforeseeable as a dinosaur sneezing, are responsible for our existence. And I bring out that theme in the book, you know, what if my own life had been different? You know, what if my parents hadn't happened to come back from Africa at a particular time when they did? Everything about my life would have been different. What if I'd uh, gone to Cambridge instead of Oxford? My entire life would be different. Uh, it's a sobering thought, and I think it's one that's worth making. Throughout the book, I do put in these various asides, which are sort of the thoughts of a scientist. It's not just an account of my life. It's an account of my life interspersed with little thoughts stimulated in a scientist by the events of, of the life.